Welcome, my friends. Consider this expression, 8 minus 3 times 2. Now, there are two interpretations for how you might go about solving this. One way could be to first subtract 3 from 8 so that you have 5, and then multiply by 2 to get 10. We subtracted 3 from 8 first, and then multiplied by 2. Our order of operations was subtraction and then multiplication. Another way could be to do the multiplication first. 3 times 2 to get 6, and then take 8 minus 6, which would give you 2. We multiplied 3 times 2 first, and then subtracted our answer from 8. Our order of operations was multiplication and then subtraction. Clearly, both answers can't be correct, and there isn't any clear logical reason why you would choose one way over the other. But we as humans have all agreed upon a certain way to simplify expressions like this through what we call the order of operations. The order of operations tells us to simplify an expression in the following order. First, take care of anything inside parentheses, then deal with any exponents, then do both multiplication and division, those two are kind of on the same level and should be evaluated from left to right, and then do both addition and subtraction. These two should also be evaluated from left to right in your problem. This creates the familiar acronym PEMDAS to help you remember the order of operations. So with PEMDAS introduced, you should be able to look back at this problem and know which one is correct. We didn't have any parentheses or exponents, so the P and E of PEMDAS could be ignored. But we do have multiplication, which comes before subtraction in the order of operations, meaning that the second method, where we multiplied 3 times 2 first and then subtracted the answer from 8, is the correct answer, and the other method is incorrect. Let's look at a few more involved examples. Here we have 12 divided by 4, multiplied by 8 minus 2. Let's use order of operations to simplify this one. First we look for parentheses, which we do have in this problem. 8 minus 2 simplifies to 6. We don't have any exponents, so we can skip the e in PEMDAS. Then we look to multiplication and division, which, remember, are on the same level. Notice here that the 4 and the 6 next to each other in parentheses indicates that they should be multiplied together. Here is where some students get mixed up. Even though the M in PEMDAS comes before the D, multiplication and division are considered on the same level, meaning when you have both, they should be evaluated from left to right. So in our case, we have division before multiplication, moving from left to right, which means we should divide first and then multiply. So we have 12 divided by 4, which is 3. Next, we multiply 3 by 6 to give us 18. The answer is 18. All right, let's try one final example. We have negative 3 minus 1 squared, all squared, plus 5 times 3. This might look intimidating at first, but let's just take it one step at a time. First, we do what's inside parentheses, which is 3 minus 1 squared. You can think of the inside of the parentheses as kind of a separate problem in itself, which should also be evaluated using order of operations. That means we should take the 1 and square it first before subtracting it from 3, because exponents come before subtraction in the order of operations. 1 squared is just 1 times 1, which is also 1. So we have 3 minus 1 inside parentheses, which simplifies to 2. Now that we have dealt with the operations inside parentheses, we can work on the exponents, which means we should take 2 and square it to give us 4, which becomes negative 4 since there was a negative sign before the parentheses. Now we have multiplication and division, to which we have only multiplication in our problem. 5 times 3 is equal to 15. Finally, we have addition and subtraction, and we only have addition in our problem, which is negative 4 plus 15, which equals 11. Alright my friends, that concludes our video covering order of operations with integers and exponents.